From Wish TV, this is the Indiana Latino Expo, presented by Indiana Funeral Care. And as part of it, organizations are now working to help several businesses get through the pandemic. News 8's multicultural reporter Katira Winfrey joins us now with that story. Katira? Well, Phil, small business, our small owned businesses represent the majority of job creation here in Indianapolis. It's a vital asset in some of the minority and lower income communities. One organization, LISC, is kicking off its latest round of grants to help small minority businesses stay afloat. Salazar Dental is the realization of the American dream. Martin Salazar came to Indiana from Peru more than a dozen years ago to open a family dental practice. Right from the beginning, we started this from scratch. So I had my student loans and I had the business loans. He knows what it's like to power through and manage to build a successful business, providing a vital resource to his predominantly Spanish speaking clients. It's important for them to understand exactly what their problems are so they can express also what, what their feelings are and we can work together. But the COVID-19 pandemic nearly took away all those years of hard work. Safety regulations forced him to close down for months, creating unfathomable financial losses. Of all these businesses that we've supported so far, 97% are minority businesses. And we think that's critical because we've noticed that during the pandemic, there's been a lot of business programs to support small businesses, but some businesses are still being left out. Local Initiative Support Corporation, or LISC, recognized challenges small minority businesses were facing and in partnership with Regions Bank, created the Small Business Grant Relief Program. And this is really about making our communities better. So anytime that we can support initiatives that help companies in our community, that just helps the communities thrive. Salazar's is one of the 25 companies to receive the grant, enabling him to buy additional personal protective gear and specialized equipment to keep the office safe and open. And the grant application is expected to open back up once the third round begins, but that hasn't started yet. You'll be able to find more information about LISC and what they are doing on our website. Reporting in the studio, Katira Winfrey, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.